Welcome to Dentamax. In this video, we're going to go over how to create a new provider in your system. To begin, we'll go to the top right hand corner where the setup button is, select that, and go to the left hand side under setup providers. Once we're in this screen, you can see the existing providers that are already in your system. Simply go to the left and click new provider. From here, you'll just enter the new provider's details. The credentials would be DDS or DMD, and then you'll wanna make sure to choose a specialty so that that specialty code shows up on the claim form. For example, if the doctor is an orthodontist. You'll then plug in the address of the office you have the option to enter an email address or not that won't affect a claim form or any other form in the software. You'll want to go ahead and enter the practice phone number and home phone number is mainly just for your own internal reference. If you'd like to track the doctor's home and mobile numbers here as well, just as a, a placeholder, fax number doesn't necessarily show up anywhere, but there's an option to plug it in. On the right half of the screen, this is where you connect who the billing provider would be for this dentist. For example, sometimes there's an associate in the practice and the claims actually go out under the practice entity and not the treating provider's name. So in box 48 to 52, you would use the practice entity or who you're billing out under as an entity. And then the treating provider would be box 53 to 58. The treating provider would actually be the new provider that we're adding. And you'll notice they're not here as an available option to select just yet. And that's because we haven't saved them to the system yet. So typically I wait to fill in this right hand segment until after I've completed entering all the IDs and saved the data. So next we'll go to the IDs tab and this is where you're gonna plug in the state ID number, tax ID number, Medicaid number if applicable, the DEA number, NPI number, and that's the individual NPI. And then you do have a spot for a group NPI if once again you're billing out under the practice NPI number instead of the individual provider number. You do have a spot for a Blue Cross Blue Shield ID number. Sometimes Blue Cross will give you a specific provider ID number for billing purposes. If you have it, you can fill it in. If not, you can skip it. Provider number typically, again, is another scenario like Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's just another field to input an alternative number as well as Medicare number. And once you're done completing those sections, you can go on to the work schedule if you'd like to populate what that new doctor's hours are going to be. And then you do also have the option to add any extra information on the custom tab if you have anything else you'd like to add. For example, the doctor's spouse's phone number for emergency contact or any other record that you want to keep track of relating to that new provider. Once you're done, simply save changes and you'll see that we have our new provider listed here. I'm gonna go back and click edit once again to finish populating the billing portion of that provider entry. So the treating provider on the claim form is going to be Dr. House, the new doctor. The signature on the claim form can be a printed doctor's name. It could be the words signature on file. So if you're sending these electronically, I'd recommend selecting signature on file. Or you could also leave it blank if for some reason you're still printing claim forms and having the doctor physically sign each claim form. Right below that, there's a spot for appointment color. On the appointments, the doctor has a designated color that shows up on the left side strip of the appointment. So this is just a quick way to visually see which provider the patient is scheduled with. I'm going to go ahead and assign yellow to our new provider. And then if, for example, that doctor always sees patients out of operatory three, you can assign a default resource to that provider. And if you have multiple locations and the doctor only works in one of them, you can also assign a default location to that provider. Once you've completed entering your data, go ahead and save your changes. And now you're able to use that provider to set as the patient's default provider on the patient information screen, set to the appointment 
on the scheduler and set to charges and charting in the chart screen. You'll also have the ability to do clinical notes with that provider code and anywhere where a provider code is needed. If you have any additional questions, please contact the training department at 1-800-704-8494, extension 806, or you can email training at denimax.com. Thank you.